folks, Aaron here. I've got number 724 ready. This is a Cherry and Texas Ebony five string banjo. So uh, Cherry is great to work with. I really love it. It's readily available here in the Northwest. It uh, doesn't cost a lot of money. It's beautiful, it's easy to work, and it sounds really good for banjos. The color does get darker over time, which I love. I love that kind of change over time as something gets used or worn. And uh, Cherry's good for that. The, the headstock shape is from a uh, 1880s uh, Hawaiian instrument, um, a little tarot patch or a rajao, not sure what to call it, but I copied that shape and the customer wanted it for a banjo. I think it's a good, a good look. So the secondary wood is Texas Ebony and I got this from a retired banjo builder. It's not local to me and I wouldn't go kind of seeking it out. Um, but it came in a big uh, bundle of other woods. And it serves, it's served really well as fretboard and headplate for instruments. I'm almost out of it though. And the customer uh, was interested in my kind of like uh, wabi-sabi aesthetic where all even broken things are beautiful. And uh, so to make up the little cap on the rim here, I used lots of sapwood pieces and tiny scraps and pieces that were cracked or otherwise unusable. And it was fun to just use that as the decorative pieces. The stripe here is cool because it changes the sapwood up there on the headstock. Really a nice banjo. It's got a uh, skin head and an armrest and then non-steel strings. Lots of sustain. Really rich sound. fretting with my bandaged finger. Yeah, and the cherry is a little lighter weight than maple or other wood, so it's a good, feels good in the lap. So there you go, number 724, all done. Cheers.